This is a quick start video tutorial for using the Procreate app. Procreate is a very rich app, has many, many features, probably more than you're ever going to need for sketch notes. It is a little more expensive than a lot of apps that are out there. Currently it is um, $5.99 in the U.S., but it does have some features that are unique to it that you can't find in other apps. So when you open the app, this is what your screen will look like if you have already done some drawings. Over in the top corner there is a plus, like most apps, you're going to touch that to open up a new document. And it does give you some options in terms of size. Usually I go with this retina size, which has 28 layers, which you probably will never need that many, but you never know. And this is what the app looks like when you open it up. I'm going to just zero in on some of the basic features that you will need as a beginner. In another tutorial, I will show you a few of the other neat things that you can do with Procreate. So up in this corner here is where your tools are located by this little paintbrush. And so if I tap on them and then tap along the top, I have my sketching tools, my inking tools, my painting tools, airbrushing, textures, abstract. And then if I slide along here, it took me a while to realize that there were more sets, including charcoals and spray paint um, and water. Uh, and you could also create your own set of brushes and build custom brushes, some cool things there. Pretty much when I am working, I use mostly the inking settings here. I also use the sketching um, if I want a pencil look or some shadows. Um, in the painting, I use the water brush to do um, a watercolor effect. Uh, so let me just quickly show you a little bit of what th some of these look like. Round marker is one of the um, ones I use a lot with this app. And here are where your colors are located. There are a variety of palettes that you can set up with the colors that you like. And so you simply tap on the color. This corner here will show you what the active color is. If you want to have a custom color, if you go to this arrow here, it will open up a color wheel and you can play around with your settings to find the perfect color that you want, tints and shades. This is going to show you what the color is. If you want to add that to your palette, you simply tap on one of these little boxes below and the color will be added into the palette. So let me just pick up a black here, and I am just going to simply draw a little bit. These two sliders here will adjust your width of your line, and also will adjust your transparency. Let me go back into the tools here. Um, let me show you the difference between a few of them, the Studio Pen, it's one of those that has a little bit of a swoop to it. Um, this ink gives you kind of a texture, a flat marker, and so on. Um, let me go over to the sketching. You can see what the chalk is. And you can customize each tool even further if you so desire. So there's the chalk. There's the pencil, um, and the one that I use a lot is this water brush. Let me get a color for that, which gives me that watercolor look that I do like. Down here is where the undo and your redo buttons are, which can be very helpful. Here is your eraser. And again, you can customize that.
And this is where you get into your layers. And like I said, I'm going to talk more about advanced features in another uh, tutorial. And then you have a lot of other features up along here as well. Now I will talk more about the layers in another video, but there's a couple of things that you probably will want to know. If you tap on the layers and tap on the background, it will allow you to pick background colors to fill in, which is nice if you want to have a color for your background. The other hint that I sometimes do is adding a grid for me to follow. I'm going to hit the plus here, and I'm just going to grab this layer and move it to under in between this layer where I'm drawing and the layer with the color. And I'm going to go into my tools up here. And in the textures, there is a grid tool. Usually I go and pick a very light color of gray to use for my grid, have some transparency for it. You can set how big or small um, your colors are. Actually, I'm going to do it with black so you can see it a little bit better. And then what I simply do is in one swoop without moving, removing my stylus, I just draw it in. If you lift your stylus, you'll get a little bit of doubleness on your grid like you see here. But then what is nice about that is if you are going to do some writing, you can very easily see how big the writing is going to be. And you can also keep it nice and straight. And then if I pinch back, uh, my writing will be available there. But um, I do find having the grid nice to use. If when you're done, you don't want the grid there anymore, it's pretty simple just to slide over and then delete the grid and it will be gone. When you're ready to save your picture, you're going to go up to your top corner again, where it says gallery, and it will save the picture for you. To be able to share it to your camera roll, if you just slide over to the side, it will give you the options to delete, duplicate, or to share. I'm going to hit share. Gives you options for how to save it. Usually I do a JPEG. And then it will give me options where to save it to. And I'm simply going to save my image to my camera roll by tapping down here on Save Image. So that's a quick look at the Procreate app. Hope that helps you get started with using this app for your sketch notes.